Hey guys, it's Sunday, April 7th, and I am here all alone in the Morgan family garden household. And beside me over there, you can see, is the indoor garden. So uh, I just wanted to show you and update you on all of our cute little seedlings that we have going on. And I also wanted to throw in a few pictures of a garden journal book that I started just to kind of keep myself updated and keep an eye on where we got our seeds, how well they're doing, and if we're going to continue to buy seeds from those uh, companies again. And uh, just kind of write down hints and tricks and what works this year and if something didn't work last year and uh, kind of keep like some composting things what to put in the compost or what not to just because we are fairly new to it we just started last year and uh, coming into our second growth season for all of our uh, fruits and vegetables this year we are going to be planting a crap ton of flowers as well we're going to try companion planting this year Whereas last year we did group planting of all of our peppers and all of our celery and all of our tomatoes. We put them all together. This year we're going to space everything out, throw some here, so throw some there, put some flowers in between, put some herbs in between, and uh, see how it goes. This year, last year was pretty good, fairly, re actually really, really well for our first year. Uh, a lot of people... Uh, basically congratulated us on our garden last year because it did so well for our first year but we got really good soil from rice road greenhouse and uh, we've got the i believe it's called the triple triple garden blend garden blend variety something along those lines so that's what we have in our boxes our boxes are six feet wide by three feet wide give or take a few inches and uh, we had 12 last year. This year we're going to do 22 and uh, throw some seeds in along the fence there for some corn. And we have a big long box that we're going to put our beans in. So let's see how it does and let's talk more about these seedlings. All right. All right, so let's excuse the purple lights. They're going to be irritating to the eyes. I can just imagine you're going to see like little waves and stuff. But anyways, again, it's April 7th, 2019, and these are all our cayenne peppers. These are about three weeks old. We started them March 23rd. And then down here, our basil right here is doing fairly well. This is not turning out. This and it's not turning out. We do have a little guy coming here. I believe this is my canna lily. This is a bean plant. This is my anise seed, which is doing really, really well. We've got more cayenne in the back, basil in the back. That's not growing very well. And this is Kira's seed bomb. It's growing. It definitely needs some more water, but we have no idea what it's going to be because we threw a bunch of seeds together, threw them in some dirt, and uh, now we're going to see what it's going to plant or what's going to uh, grow from the plant. These are lemon trees that I did last year. I have a short video on them. I still got three of them. This one's doing really well too. They're doing much better now that we have the lights on them versus all winter they never grew they went dormant because there was no light so there's one in the back it's doing really well too uh, I'm gonna start another pineapple plant as well it's gonna need some more water this right here is spinach I started that I want to say March 28th 2019 you can see there's little ones growing there all the seeds didn't tank I basically planted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe eight this way and about four or five rows. So you can see some worked, some didn't. And uh, yeah, we just live and learn and some seeds grow and some seeds don't. I was given to this, I was given this for a birthday present. It's an orange seed. He definitely needs more dirt and he needs more water. He's 
pushing towards that light. So let's get him over there. And the closer to the light he is, the better it is for him. This, uh, what is this? This is eggplant. I don't know how long eggplant takes, but I don't know. We'll see if it grows. I think we only planted that a week and a half or two weeks ago now. Parsley's not doing so well. The dill isn't growing very well. But look in the back. It's growing finally. There's life back there. It's a rosemary tree. And if we move along over here, da, 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 we have poppies growing and we have geraniums growing. They're all growing beautifully. Remember the little sunflower video I had? I'll post it at the end of this video. See how well they're growing? They're so tall. They're doing so well. There's three in each. So we got one, one, two, and three. This is beans. Not finished or not started yet, but we have little, little, tiny, 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 minuscule. I don't know if you can see them or not. Look, there they are. Look, look right there. One, two, three, four, five. Those are all snapdragons. And then our morning glories in the back that Lana planted. She's doing a great job with the garden. Very proud of her. And here we have marigolds. Adam and I planted these two weeks ago. And up here, let's take our little box off, see if anything's come up yet. This is Kakuza and Lufas. I want to say something's growing under here because the ground is separating. So we'll see in a couple days. Hopefully something starts to come up. Nothing, 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 nothing yet. But maybe they take longer. I'm not sure. But da -da -da -da, look at our beans. They're huge. Those are doing really, really well. All right, we got two more shelves to go through. All right, we have habaneros and jalapenos in the front, and we got tomatoes in the back. All different kinds of varieties. Two different kinds of jalapenos and two different kinds of habaneros. The tomatoes, we have a beefsteak, we have a Hybrid, which is from Italy. We have a tomatillo from Mexico. And then we have an orange variety tomato. And I'm fairly short, so bear with me. These are cucumbers in the front. You can see the names on the popsicle sticks there. That one just says cucumber. they're doing really well and then we got more tomatoes in the black we got black cherry tomatoes and then we have what is that guy back there I can't read what that says ah those are the Italian variety so those are more of like your paste tomato they're called semagnino I believe if I'm saying it wrong excuse me they're a paste tomato. They're great for making sauces and stuff. So I can't wait to do those, make my salsas, make my spaghetti sauce. And uh, yeah, that's our quick little update on uh, three weeks. This is the entire setup. If I can get the whole thing in there. There you go. That's what we got going on. Still got more bins at the top for when all this stuff can go outside and that's what we have so far see you later guys these are our seedlings that lana and i did these are all flowers except for this front row right here those are all beans 
But if you can see, this poor little flower is trying to get to the sun and it can't because the dirt was too compact. And these ones in the back are reaching for the light, so we're going to have to figure out something to do there. So let's get it fixed up.